Hello everyone. Namaste. How are you all doing today? I'm sure you're doing great. Uh, before we get started with the session, okay, let me give you the greetings of the day. Aapko, aap sabhi ko, Basant Panchmi ki bohat bohat shubhkamnaye. A very warm and cordial greetings for the Valentine Day also. I'm Shruti Tiwari here from Top Rankers Supergrad Catch. And we are here with a series of live sessions which are for CMAT preparation, all right? And in the same series, I am here to discuss with you some previous year questions of English comprehension or specifically for today, it is grammar. Grammar may basically we are asking uh, generally uh, error spotting, all right? Or risk replacement, sentence replacement. Largely, we have to spot the error in the sentence and replace it or probably just identify it. All right. So I'm here with a few questions from previous year CMAT. All right. And we'll discuss them one by one and then we'll uh, know, understand how to approach each question. All right. With each question, you'll be able to understand what rules of grammar or what, what general usage in grammar they generally target at. All right, grammar ke kam se kam, you can expect uh, out of 20 questions of CMAT, you can expect at least four to five questions of grammar in different, you know, uh, formats. All right, so it's an important chunk in CMAT. All right, so let's get started. Uh, before we start, let me give you an instruction. All right, what I've done is because this is a live session, I've given you 30 seconds. All right, for each question. So there will be a timer set. The moment I'll click on the next slide, the timer will start. It will give you 30 seconds to solve the question. Once you are done and you give me answers on the chat box, we'll start with the discussion. All right, so are you ready? Let's get started. The very first question. Your time is up. All right. Let's have a discussion on the question. Let's read the question first. You have to select the best version which replaces the underlying part. We want the teacher to be him who has the best rapport with the students. Now, this is a very celebrated question of CMAT, which is based on active passive voice. All right. And here we have to understand what is the subject and which is the object of the sentence. So basically, the sentence has two parts. Here is the subject. We want something. All right. So the subject is we. And hence, here the pronoun cannot be he. It has to be him. But the problem is that him who has the best rapport doesn't go hand in hand. This is the wrong expression because this who is qualifying the teacher. Isn't it? So this him doesn't make sense here. And that is the reason why the sentence is not sounding correct. All right. So it's for sure that we cannot have he. It's for sure that we cannot have him. Isn't it? So we have to have this. We want him to be the teacher who has the best rapport with the students. So ye jo who hai, this is basically a relative pronoun for teacher. And hence it is sounding absolutely correct. It's simple. Karke bata de. Is sentence ko likhne ke do sahi tarike ho sakte hai. First is we want him and the rest of this, which is the sentence. We want him to be the teacher who has the best rapport with the students. Second could be, we want the teacher to be 
वन हुज द बेस्ट रैपो विद द स्टूडेंट नाउ इफ वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू रिप्लेस दिस टीचर आई मीन रिप्लेस इन द सेंस ऑफ चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ द टीचर देन द प्रोनाउन शुड नॉट बी हिम इट शुड बी वन वन हु हैज द बेस्ट रैपो विद द स्टूडेंट और राइट otherwise it has to be the teacher here and this him should come with we want all right so hence the answer should be a all right we cannot have this anticipate or desire even you know there is a huge difference between want anticipate and desire want ka matlab kya hota hai Want, इच्छा होना किसी चीज की ठीक है आई वॉन्ट टू ईट आइसक्रीम इज इन टेट सो एंटिसिपेट करना मतलब इट हैज टू बी एन एक्सपेक्टेशन बिफोर हैंड इज इन टेट सो दैट इज एंटिसिपेट करना दैट इज यू नो यू आर हिंदी में बोलते हैं अंदाजा लगा रहे इज इन टेट और एक्सपेक्ट बिफोर हैंड we anticipate the outcome of elections isn't it we anticipate some kind of uh, things which are happening in our life so that is anticipation desire has a very strong intensity than want isn't it to yahan par desire ka matlab hota hai kamna karna kisi cheez ki khwahish rakhna kisi cheez ki that is desire isn't it so uh probably yeah, it's 14th february hai to we can make the sentence like this that you know i want to i want a car or maybe a bike so yahan par to ye ho gaya kya want mujhe car chahiye ya mujhe bike chahiye but when it comes to desire you would say i desire to go for a long drive tonight and of course with your better half or probably your girlfriend whatever all right so i desire to go for a long drive so that is a desire kamna kar rahe hain hum kisi cheez ki theek hai so that has a greater intensity want thoda chota all right all right so let's move on to the next question i i'm sure i'm making sense you know you are able to understand what it means यहां पर एंटिसिपेट नहीं आ सकता डिजायर नहीं आ सकता एंड ही इज द सब्जेक्टिव प्रोनाउन और राइट वेन एवर यू नो समन इज डूइंग द सब्जेक्ट इज डूइंग समथिंग देन ओनली वी यूज ही एंड यहां पर तो वी ऑलरेडी हैव वी एज अ सब्जेक्ट सो वी कैन नॉट हैव ही हियर हिम मेक्स नो सेंस विद हु इज इन टेट एंड हेन्स वी हैव टू हैव हिम हियर एंड टीचर हियर और राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन you have 30 seconds to solve this all right the time is Are you there with the answers? Okay, so let's have a discussion. All right, what's your answer? The first thing, this is of FIB, and here in the sentence, there are two actions happening consecutively, isn't it? These are happening one after the other. So, Harris has done something. Thirteen pages. when his laptop crashed so this is happening in past so whenever there are two actions which are happening consecutively in past that is one after the other all right so we would obviously put had with the action which happened previously okay jaise yahan par do actions hai one is crashed laptop crashed and second harris has typed all right so he had 
already typed. Now, why not has? Because this is and this is present tense. While this action is in the past. So we cannot have two, you know, variety of tenses in one sentence. So this will be wrong. This will be wrong. Now we have typed. So now there are two actions happening. One is type and one is crash, which happened early and which happened later. How would we know? So to identify, to recognize that we put had here. All right. So Harris had already typed 13 pages when his laptop crashed. Hindi mein hum bolte hai, kaam ho chuka tha. Ya fir, wo type kar chuki thi. Hai na, to jab hum kisi bhi verb ke saan chuka tha ya chuki thi lagate hai, to hume pata chul jata hai ki ye kaam pehle ho chuka tha, tab dousra kaam hua. Isn't it? Alright. We generally, you know, ek bohat hi common sa sentence, jo grammar ki har book mein hota hai. The... Train had already left when we reached the station. Hmm? Bohat hi common sa sentence hai aur isko humesha yaad rukna. The moment you get this kind of question, this will help you identify that this may had lagega. Jab hum station pohunche, train ja chuki thi. Isn't it? So the train had left when we reached the station. So do, do actions hai, ek reach the station, dusra, the train left. Theek hai? So this has happened early and this has happened later. So to identify that we use had here. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Are you with me? All right, try your hands on this. Very simple question, very simple question. All right, so your time is up. Okay, so you have to choose the most appropriate option that for the underlying phrase. Ram told his wife he would not mind standing and eat the dinner. The moment you read this, you are able to understand, okay, this is not sounding correct, isn't it? So it has to be standing and eating the dinner. It is basically in grammar called parallelism. Law of parallelism says that verbs, if there are two or more verbs in a sentence, in one sentence, they have to be in the same form. All right. They cannot have different, different things. So if they're, I mean, they are all associated with one subject one subject all right so the action has to be in only one form you cannot say that um, she likes to dance and singing so this will be wrong why because here the verbs are associated with she. They have to be in the same form. All right. These two actions are associated with she. So hence it has to be she likes to dance and sing. Or it could be she likes dancing and singing. Then it would be absolutely correct. So here it should be he would not mind standing and eating the dinner. All right. Let's move to the next question. Okay. 
let me get some answers guys try out some okay so your time is up anyone with the answers galat bhi hoga to it's okay we'll have a discussion isn't it at least try it so this is again the same celebrated question of error identification all right there are three parts of the sentence and you have to identify the error okay if she will be promoted she will get a higher salary now whenever we are using if it's basically for a condition all right and whenever we are putting a condition obviously it cannot be in the future tense the condition has to be in general isn't it we say if it rains i'll not go to school if it will rain i will not go to school aise nahi bolte hain isn't it because we are putting a condition all right so the condition has to be in the present tense so the correct answer should be if she is promoted she will get higher salary okay you can have parallel examples like if they win the match they will get the trophy isn't it or i could say if you work hard you will succeed if you work hard you will succeed to so, yahan par aap dekho the verb is in present tense if they win the match if they will win the match nahi aaya isn't it यहां पर एक कंडीशन है एंड कंडीशन हैज टू हैव वर्ब इन द फर्स्ट फॉर्म इफ यू वर्क हार्ड इफ यू विल वर्क हार्ड नहीं है द सेकंड सेकंड एक्शन विल हैव विल हियर ऑल राइट सो व्हेन एवर देयर इज अ कंडीशनल क्लॉज फॉर फ्यूचर मे बी फ्यूचर इवेंट विल हैपन और वी आर एंटिसिपेटिंग इट टू हैपन देन द द कंडीशन Uh, clause will have present tense okay let's move on to the next question are you there with me All right, Gautam. Your answer is A. Okay. So actually, the answer is A. Absolutely correct. But let's understand why. Sabotage came from the French saboteur, which means to clatter with wooden shoes. Sabots. All right. So this is the sentence. and this is the underlined part which has no error actually uh now let us understand these options because there is no error in the sentence we have chosen a to be the answer because that's what is written in the question all right now let's understand why these options are incorrect first of all what is the difference between which and that when to use which and when to use that which is used for 
additional information or additional information that means the information might not be very much you know important or it is not critical for the sentence to get completed even if we do not have this part the sentence is making sense sabotage came from the french saboteur it's a complete sentence isn't it so here we have rightly used which but if the sentence is in which this the information which is given is very specific then we use that so this is for specific or critical or crucial information which is necessary it is necessary for sentence to get completed if you you know remove that clause from there the sentence will not make sense i give you an example uh the book which you gave me is lost now if i remove this from the sentence will the sentence make a complete sense the book is lost which book is lost which book am, am i talking about so it is you know very imperative for the sentence to get completed and hence i cannot use which here i have to use that the book that you gave me that specific book i'm talking about that you gave me is lost all right but if i say the books which we read are useful so if i remove this which we read the books are useful because i'm talking in general the books which we read in general isn't it so that's the difference between that and which always keep that in mind here this which is correctly used because this is an additional information about the meaning of this word saboteur all right and hence we will not use that and this dash is absolutely redundant it's not required now why is this comma not required if i put this comma over here which means then it will become a parenthesis that means it's not important this is the important sentence and this is the additional part which is not true this will disturb the entire context of the sentence this part of the sentence and this part of the sentence both are required and here this which means is not in a parenthesis it it's not in he which means is the additional information the entire clause is from here to here which means to clatter with wooden shoes so this comma here will be absolutely wrong all right we put parenthesis only when the first part and the last part is important for example if we say the book that you gave me is lost if i put comma here and here it will be the book is lost this is the main sentence and this is parenthesis that you gave me all right so here it's not required all right let's move on to the next question now all right very simple question i want you to give it a try Gautam, I'm really happy that you're trying. Okay, so that time is up. The train is expected to arrive between 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. is it making sense when do we use between between is always for two or specific entities isn't it so between 
11 and 12. Between ke saath hamesha kya aega? And. Okay. Or agar hume to use karna hai, to hum kya bolenge? From 11 to 12. So to ke saath kya aega? From. Okay. You'll always say that the train is from Kashi from Kashi to Haridwar. Isn't it? From here to there. Or if you are using these two as a specific stations, then we'll say that the train will move fast between these two stations, between Kashi and Haridwar. So specific location, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and as I live and. So between this, what will happen? And. All right. So here, it has to be between 11 p.m. and 12 p.m. Or to this color. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. again active passive voice. All right, your time is about to end and it's over. Any answers? Give it a try. So, जब भी हमें active को नहीं ये passive में है तो जब भी हमें passive voice से active voice में convert करना हो या हमें active voice से passive voice में convert करना हो ठीक है there are some things which we have to keep in mind specifically when it is past tense Tenses में सबसे ज़्यादा change आता है whenever we convert a sentence from active to passive or passive to active. Now here the sentence is in passive voice and it is in past tense, isn't it? So we have to understand first thing that is identify subject and object. इसमें subject क्या है? The payment was collected by the hard-working salesman. So there is a salesman and then there is the payment. Okay. So we will interchange their positions. Second step is interchange their positions. Jaha par payment hai, vaha salesman a jayega. Jaha salesman hai, payment a jayega. And the last thing which you have to do is when the verb form is was ya were plus verb ka third form, it will be you know, converted into verb ka second form. But the simple past tense mein ho jayega wo. Theek hai? So, the sentence here should be the hard working salesman collected the payment. So, dekhe sentence kaun sa hona chahiye? Yaan par to wo present tense mein le aaya. To collects. The hardworking salesman was able to collect. So, here, so ability ki baat ho gaya, tense bhi change ho gaya. The hardworking salesman collected the payment. To collect the payment, the salesman had to work hard. Ye to pata nahi kaha chala gaya. Thik hai? So, the work, hardworking salesman collected the payment. Dekho, humne the payment ko uh, yahan le aaya hai, object ki taraf. Or salesman ko subject me le hai. Interchange kar ki positions. Yaha par tha was collected. So dekho was plus verb ka third form hai. Usko humne kya kiya? Collected kar diya. Yaha se was hata diya. 
थर्ड फॉर्म और सेकेंड फॉर्म के लिए एक एग्जाम्पल दे देती हूँ तो ज्यादा अच्छे से समझ में आ जाएगा बिकॉज कलेक्टेड इज कलेक्टेड ओनली फॉर सेकेंड थर्ड में लेट्स सी इफ आई से माय सन रोट द लेटर All right, so there was some glitch. My son wrote the letter. All right, so this is an active voice. My son is the subject because he's the doer of the action. Verb is in verb ka second form, and then this is the object. Now I have to convert it into passive. What will I do? In the change the position, so I'll start the sentence with the letter, the letter, and obviously the my son will come here. Now what will happen to the verb? सेकेंड फॉर्म से वो क्या हो जाएगा वॉज वेयर प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म सो इट विल बी वॉज बिकॉज इट्स अ सिंगुलर लेटर तो द लेटर वॉज रिटन बाय माई सन सिंपल ओके सो दिस इज वॉज प्लस वर्ब का थर्ड फॉर्म ऑल राइट ऑल राइट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थर्टी सेकेंड गाइज All right, huge time for a grammar question. C mat में भी इससे ज़्यादा time नहीं लगना चाहिए grammar question में. Let's see how you do it. Identify the error and choose the option which has no error or which is grammatically correct and precise. Okay. Any answers? Let's read it together. In light of her extraordinary creative budgeting proposal, a recent poll put Suzanne ahead of George in the race for governor and found her to be the best candidate. Of the two, कुछ चमका क्या गड़बड़ हो रही है कुछ याद आ रहा है गुड बेटर बेस्ट ऑल राइट सो वेन देर आर टू कैंडिडेट्स ऑब्वियसली यू विल नॉट यूज द बेस्ट यू विल यूज द बेटर बिटवीन द टू इज इट इट <clears throat> All right. So let's read the sentences. In the light of an extraordinary, extraordinarily creative budgeting proposal, a recent poll put Suzanne ahead of George in the race for governor, finding Suzanne to be the best candidate. So it's a repetition. Ho gaya. A recent poll put Suzanne ahead of George. Yeah, that's all right. In the race of, in the race for governor, ye bhi theek hai. Found Suzanne. Ye bhi found kiske liye aa gaya. so this is wrong construction in light of her extraordinarily creative budgeting proposal a recent poll put suzanne ahead of george in the race for governor and found her to be the better candidate of the two so this seems to be the correct one let's see the d1 in light of her extraordinarily okay extraordinary creative budgeting proposal a recent poll put suzanne ahead of george in the race for governor and found her to be the best candidate of the two so again the best is wrong so here only option f is c you have better candidate out of two 
this is better. Whenever you have a choice, you will say, I find this better than this. Isn't it? You don't say, I find this best than this. Okay. You will use best only when it is more, you know, number of uh, candidates are there. Probably agar ye hota that, you know, Suzanne is the best candidate in the town or in the country. Then it would sound better. All right. So, achha, good, better ka to best hota hai. What about bad? Bad ke dono forms kya hote hai? Comparative or superlative? Kaun batayega mujhe? Zara chat box mein dal ke batao. Bad ka kya hai ga? Good ka to better or best hai. What about bad? <clears throat> Suzanne is a bad girl. Suzanne is what than George? She is worse than George. Isn't it? And what about if she is no in the town. So then she will be the worst candidate in the town. Bad ka kya hoga? Worse and worst. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. I hope I'm making sense and making things clear for you. Yes, Gurkirat. Absolutely. I'm happy that you understood it. Let's move on to the next question. Again, 30 seconds to solve the question. Okay, so replace the underlined portion again. So Jessica Mitford, even if you don't want to read the name, it's fine with me. I never asked you to read the names, Jessica, whatever, J, wrote the American way of death. Now, um, always keep in mind, whenever some, you know, someone is writing something and the next, you know, phrase or name is written in all capitals. That means this is name of a book. Hmm? Name of a book. Although yahan par usko express kiya hua hai, but otherwise also in reading comprehension and you know summary questions, you'll always have to keep that in mind. All right. So Jessica wrote The American Way of Death, a best-selling book that led eventually to an official investigation of the funeral industry. Now, what's wrong in this sentence? Or is there anything wrong in this sentence? First of all, that led eventually is underlined. And that's what you have to identify. Underlined portion jo hai, wo sahi hai ya nahi. Any idea? Okay. So, this is the phrasal verb that is led to. Phrasal verb, what do you know? Phrasal verbs, one verb, hota hai. it is followed by a preposition. Okay. और इन दोनों को साथ में जो लिखते हैं तो वो हो जाता है फ्रेजल वर्ब लेड टू का मतलब क्या होता है रिजल्ट इनटू समथिंग फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से ड्यूरिंग कोविड you know, I volunteered to work in the hospital that led to a career in um, nursing or medicine. Isn't it? So, eventually it led to. So, here, led 
और टू के बीच में ये एडवर्ब आ गया है इवेंचुअली इवेंचुअली का मतलब क्या होता है ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ठीक है सो so, ये कहा आना चाहिए लेड के पहले बिकॉज लेड टू इज अ फ्रेजल वर्ब इसके बीच में आएगा तो ये मीनिंग इसका क्लियर नहीं होगा बिकॉज दिस इवेंचुअली इज नॉट टू क्वालिफाई दिस टू इट इज बेसिकली फॉर लेड सो इट शुड बी सेलिंग बुक दैट eventually led to an official investigation all right so led ke sath mein yahan par to aa jayega or eventually is qualifying this led hi with it in the same channel you can find all my playlist all my sessions in the same channel okay but right now i want you to participate all right try your hands on these questions and have discussions with me it will improve a lot of your you know um, uh, attempts in actual cmat okay hum log yahan par jo discussion kar rahe hain wah cmat mein wo cheez click kar jayegi all right and that will save on lot of time and improve on your accuracy okay i'm happy that you are attending the sessions all right and they are going to immensely help you i promise you that okay so basically ye baat samajh mein aa gayi yahan par ki eventually jo hai wo led ke sath mein ya jo bhi verb hai uske pehle us adverb ko likhenge why because this will this has to be complete okay let's move on to the next question okay again you know cmat ka bahut hi ghisa pita sa question hai ऑलमोस्ट हर साल आता है कम ऑन गिव ट्राई एंड योर टाइम इज अप लेट मी सी इफ यू कुड आंसर दिस वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन चार में से दो भी आइडेंटिफाई हो जाएंगे तो आंसर आ जाएगा दिस इज सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट एनी आंसर ऑल राइट सो लेट्स डिस्कशन gold and silver so these are two metals gold and silver and hence it has to be r so i cannot have is theek hai the ship with its crew so crew to hai lekin wo kiske sath mein hai ship ke sath mein hai so which is the important subject the ship which is singular so the ship was lost because that is the main subject hence yahan par were nahi aayega so automatically tumhara answer aa gaya no nook or corner so yahan par do subjects hain but then they are joined with or either or ye ya ye aur dono hi single hai so then obviously it has to be singular was left neither my friend nor i again jaise either or ka hai waise hi neither nor ka hai neither my friend ye bhi singular hai or nor i ye bhi singular hai so the verb has to agree with this and has to be singular so am and which is what is given here acha mujhe batao agar gold and silver ki jagah main yahan par likh du Italy and Sambar. Breakfast. Yeah, bread and butter. जैसा कि grammar books में रहता है. So यहाँ पर फिर क्या आएगा? Is या are? Italy and Sambar are breakfast या Italy and Sambar is breakfast? Is my breakfast? 
अब देखो इडली एंड सांभर मेक्स वन डिश एंड हेन्स यहां पर द वर्ब हैज टू बी सिंगुलर हियर दीज आर टू डिफरेंट मेटल्स एंड हेन्स दे हैव टू बी कंसिडर्ड प्लूरल और राइट सिमिलरली यहां पर है द शिप विथ इट्स क्रू दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी नो सेलेक्टेड एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम मी राम अलोंग विथ सीता एंड हनुमान वर्शिप्ड इन इंडिया यहां पर सत्य क्या है हाय वैभव गुड आफ्टरनून टेल मी व्हाट इज द सब्जेक्ट हियर राम सीता एंड हनुमान और ओनली राम बिकॉज दे आर जॉइंड विथ अलोंग विथ और इसकी जगह टुगेदर विथ भी लिख सकते हैं राम टुगेदर विथ सीता एंड हनुमान सो जब भी दो या तीन सब्जेक्ट्स हैं सेंटेंस में एंड दे आर जॉइन विथ अलोंग विथ टुगेदर विथ ठीक है देन द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट हैज टू बी द प्राइमरी सब्जेक्ट दिस इज द मेन सब्जेक्ट इफ दिस इज सिंगुलर द वर्ब विल बी सिंगुलर द वर्ब विल एग्री विद दिस सब्जेक्ट नॉट विद देम बिकॉज दे हैव कम अलोंग विथ राम सो दे आर सेकेंडरी सबॉर्डिनेट और राइट हुई दी प्राइमरी दिस वन सो इट हैज टू बी is worshiped ram along with sita and hanuman is worshiped in india all right lekin agar along with ko hata du main aur yahan par likhu ram and see, ram sita and hanuman aise likhna tha lekin ab maine and likh diya to hanuman to fir kya aayega our worship ya is worship again यहां पर ये दोनों किससे जुड़े हुए हैं एंड और एंड का मतलब ये है कि जो फर्स्ट और सेकंड है दोनों इक्वल है ओके बोथ दी सब्जेक्ट्स आर इक्वल राम एंड हनुमान सो नाउ इट बिकम्स टू जैसे यहां पर था गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर टू आर देर बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड हैज द वर्ब हैज टू बी प्लूरल सो यहां पर फिर वो आर आएगा राम एंड हनुमान आर वर्शिप ओके so these are very commonly asked questions in your cmat exam subject verb agreement ka bahut hi jisa pita sa question hai ye theek hai let's move on to the next question very simple question come on try all right so pick the correct sentence i have passed the examination last year now the time is given and the time is given in past so can you say i have passed because this have is used in present action isn't it for example you say i have completed my graduation now here i am not specifying any time in past isn't it so i have completed my graduation so this is present perfect all right but here in the sentence last year that means the time is referred and that is in the past so i cannot use present tense here i cannot use present tense here i am passing the examination again present tense nahi use ho sakta so very clearly it has to be i passed the examination last year simple past Very quick to answer. ये क्वेश्चन ऐसा है जिसको 10-12 सेकेंड में सॉल्व करो मार्क करो आगे बढ़ जाओ सीधे सीधे सूखे सूखे मार्क्स देके जाएगा ये क्वेश्चन तुमको ट्राई
Okay. Any idea? How will you replace this italics? Phrase in italics. I don't think you need to explain the situation. Your conduct is self-explanatory. Isn't it? That's what the context is coming out. You don't need to explain. Your conduct is explaining itself. Isn't it? So, your conduct speaks for itself. Why not speaks about itself? What's wrong with speaks about? You speak for and speak about. Dono phrases are there. Kya meaning nikal ke aata hai iska? You speak for. Matlab you are representing something. Isn't it? For example, I am speaking for somebody else who, uh, who is absent here. All right. Speaking for taking, you know, somebody's, you know, stand in a meeting or something like that. So speaking for something. Speak about is speak about a topic. Or maybe you are talking about a person. Ke baare mein. Hmm? To speak for you are speaking for someone, matlab kisi ke liye bol rahe ho, kisi ko represent kar rahe ho, kisi ka paksh rakh rahe ho. Speak about, matlab topic ke baare mein baat karna. So, yahaan par hum kisi ke baare mein baat karne ki baat kar rahe hai kya? Nahin. We are talking about ourselves or uh, my conduct is speaking for itself. Thik hai? That means without saying a word, it is self-explanatory. And hence, this about will be wrong here. It should be speaks for itself. Why not will or has been speaking? Because obviously the first part is in simple present tense. Verb is in simple present tense. And the entire sentence is not future or it is not talking about continuing the action. All right. It is a general sentence. So I don't think you need to explain the situation. Your conduct speaks for itself. I hope I'm making sense to you all. Say yes in the chat box. If you are able to understand my explanation properly. Hi Aarti. Hi Vaibhav. Vidit. Gurkirat. Please give me a thumbs up if you are able to understand properly. And let's move now to the next question then. Let me see. Okay. 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 Let's move. Your time is up. Give me the answers. What's your answer? I do not know whether he will come or not. That is choice. Isn't it? I do not know that he will come or not. Agar you do not know that, then obviously there cannot be a confusion, isn't it? So whenever we are talking about a choice or whenever we are talking about two outcomes, a possibility. Possibility. I do not know whether it will rain today or not, isn't it? So we'll use weather. Huh, rain se yaad aya. Ye weather is about mosam hmm? weather conditions or ye weather is um pehli kya hoga voice clear nahi hai check your uh, 
system. Uh, this weather is about condition or maybe choice or possibility. Okay. And this is about the climatic conditions. This similar sounding homonyms, similar sounding words, there is confusion. Okay. So basically, the first one is the correct one, and the second one is wrong. We do not use that here. Okay. Okay. You? Yes. Okay. So the answer should be, uh oh, I have marked a wrong answer. Aarti se baat karte karte, answer wrong mark kar diya. Okay. So the first one is correct, but the second one is incorrect. Okay. Next question. Try your hands. Mark the error. Oh, very simple question. It's good. The second video looks not see a solve good in Okay, so your time is up. What's your answer? A, B, C, D. The primary objective of the essay is to draw analogies between the two work. The two work it has to be two works addressing the common memories and trauma of this location. Isn't it? So there are two projects or two works which are done on these common memories and trauma and the primary objective of the essay. So essay to ek hi hai. Lekin analogies do cheezo ke ya do kamo ke beech mein hai. And hence it has to be S here. So this is the error. Next question guys. Pay attention and do it quickly. These are all PYQs huh? of CMAT itself. So if you are able to solve them, it's very good. Actual CMAT question is all good. The earth moves round the sun. Isn't it? Ye isn't it kya hai? Isko hum kya bolte hai? It is question tag. Generally, written English ki jaga, ye spoken English mein zada use aata hai. And it is to... Um, Confirm something. You reaffirm something. ठीक है किसी भी चीज को पक्का करने के लिए पूछते हैं. हम लोग हिंदी में बोलते हैं है ना तुम कल आ रहे हो है ना ऐसे बोलते हैं ना तो वैसे ही इंग्लिश में we use question tags. ना question tag का बहुत सिंपल सा फंडा है जो भी सेंटेंस है ठीक है उसी का नेगेटिव या अगर जैसे पॉजिटिव सेंटेंस है तो नेगेटिव क्वेश्चन टैग और नेगेटिव सेंटेंस है तो पॉजिटिव क्वेश्चन टैग पूछते हैं ठीक है So, for example, um, he dances very well. Now, this is a positive sentence. Hai. He dances very well. So, what will happen here? Isn't it? No. He is an action. So, what will happen Doesn't he? Or... अगर मैंने लिखा he does not dance very well तो question tag क्या बनेगा does he ठीक है लेकिन अगर मैं उसकी qualification या quality बता रही हूँ यहाँ पर तो मैंने उसकी activity बताई तो मैंने यहाँ पर does use किया लेकिन अगर मैं बोल रही हूँ he is a nice chap or nice guy ठीक है तो फिर यहां पर क्या बोलूंगी मैं इजंट ही 
तब यहाँ पर इज लगाया है क्योंकि यहाँ पर मैं कोई क्वालिटी बता रही हूँ इज के साथ में कोई एक्शन नहीं है अब यहाँ पर देखो द अर्थ मूव अराउंड द सन तो यहाँ पर अर्थ जो है वो एक्शन कर रही है तो क्या मैं यहाँ पर एजेंटेड कर सकती हूँ ऑब्वियसली नो यहाँ पर मुझे क्या करना पड़ेगा आया समझ जब भी सेंटेंस में एक्शन हो रहा है तो फिर क्वेश्चन टैग जो है वो डस के साथ में अगर प्रेजेंट टेंस है तो वो डस के साथ में बनेगा और अगर वो कोई क्वालिफिकेशन बता रहे कोई एक्शन नहीं हो रही है सेंटेंस में ठीक है तो फिर हम क्या लगाएंगे इस या इजेंट अगर मैंने यहां लिखा ही इज नॉट नाइस चैप तो फिर क्या बनेगा यहाँ पे इज ही तो जो भी सेंटेंस है उसी का ऑपोजिट क्वेश्चन टैग बनता है अगर सेंटेंस पॉजिटिव है तो नेगेटिव क्वेश्चन टैग और अगर नेगेटिव है तो पॉजिटिव क्वेश्चन टैग एम आई मेकिंग सेंस ये समझ में आया ओके सो लेट्स मूव ये अब तुमको बिल्कुल आसानी से आना चाहिए हम दो बार डिस्कस कर चुके हैं आई एम श्योर यूल बी एबल टू डू इट ओके सो एक्टिव सेंटेंस उसका पैसिव वॉइस निकालना है आती तो टाइमिंग इज फॉर दिस सीम एट लाइव क्लासेस टू ओ क्लॉक टू ओ क्लॉक से थ्री ओ क्लॉक है लेकिन हम एक्सटेंड कर लेते हैं जनरली ठीक है डिपेंड्स कि हम कितना एक्सटेंड करते हैं और तुम कितना जवाब देते हो ठीक है आई वुड लव टू हियर फ्रॉम यू टू ओ क्लॉक वी स्टार्टेड ऑल राइट एंड एवरी डे विथ स्टार्ट एट टू ओ क्लॉक ओनली लाइव क्लास ऑल राइट सो द चाइल्ड वॉज लुकड आफ्टर बाय द मेड सो देर इज दिस चाइल्ड एंड देर इज दिस मेड अब हमको सबसे पहले क्या करना है इन दोनों को इंटरचेंज करना है तो द सेंटेंस हैज टू स्टार्ट विथ द मेड All the sentences are starting with maid. The sentence has to end with the child. All the sentences are ending with a child. मतलब the only thing which you have to look for is यहाँ पर was plus verb का third form है और जब हम उसको active में करेंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा यहाँ पर verb का second form. ठीक है ना? So the child was looked after by the maid. The maid looked after the child. बस वो हट जाएगा वहां से सिंपल ये तो सेंटेंस ही कबाड़ा हो जाएगा द मेड वॉज लुक आफ्टर बाई द चाइल्ड ये तो उल्टी बात हो जाएगी द मेड वॉज लुकिंग आफ्टर द चाइल्ड तो अगेन इसमें उसमें क्या डिफरेंस है ये लुक आफ्टर मतलब ये पास टेंस की बात हो रही है यहाँ पे लुकिंग आफ्टर मतलब पास कंटिन्यूस की बात हो रही है तो यहाँ पर एक्टिव पास तो चेंज नहीं हुआ The maid will look after the child. ये तो future tense में चला गया जबकि बात यहाँ पर past में हो रही है So the only option left is A. The maid looked after the child. Okay. There are different sentences given and you have to identify which is correct. So my suggestion is identify the wrong one. So you'll be able to eliminate. Okay. So what do we say? The first error, which is very clearly seen, is Rama has been living in Delhi for 1975. it's very commonly you know it's very common mistake which people generally do we use for a period of time so we generally say for 10 years or for 5 days okay so whenever we are talking about a period of time we use for but here it is a specific time a specific point in time and for that we use since so since 1975 or since uh maybe um last monday okay so a specific point of time will always take since and a period of time will always take for so ye error jo hai ye bahut glaring 
बहुत ही कॉमन एरर दिख गया तो सी तो रॉन्ग है इसके अलावा द पेशेंट वॉज क्राइम ऑन पेन सो वी डोंट क्राई ऑन पेन जनरली द पर्सन विल क्राई इन पेन क्राई इन पेन मीन इंटेंस पेन दैट बर्दाश्त नहीं हो पा रहा सो दैट इज क्राई इन पेन दैट इज टू सफर okay so this is also erroneous now let's see in the options okay wow none of the options has c as the option only so that was useless okay so let's see e isme e hai isme e hai so ye dono to nahi ho sakte now let's come to a and b matlab you have to identify a is correct or no b or d to correct hai she was pouring water in the jar she was pouring so was pouring that means past mein continuous so there is no nothing wrong in the sentence and hence the answer should be b a b and d are correct again it is active and passive aapko dekho cmat ka aapke paas kitna puch rahe ho just brush up okay so my mother cooks italian food every sunday so this is in simple present all right it is happening every sunday dusra this is active voice and you have to change it to passive voice to kya karna hai sabse pehle subject aur object ka place ko interchange karna hai so you have to change the position of mother and italian food तो इटालियन फूड पहले आएगा मदर बाद में आएगी इटालियन फूड पहले मदर बाद में इटालियन फूड पहले मदर है ही नहीं यहाँ पे इटालियन फूड मदर बाद में ठीक है ये और ये दोनों कैंसिल आउट हो गए अब इटालियन फूड सो माय मदर कुक्स इटालियन फूड सो शी कुक्स इट एवरी संडे तो इसका पैसिव क्या होगा इज कुक इज बींग कुक्ड कब होता जब वहां पर कुकिंग होता माई मदर इज कुकिंग इटालियन फूड टूडे तो फिर इसका क्या हो जाता इटालियन फूड इज बींग कुड बाय माई मदर ओके सो इटालियन फूड इज कुड बाय माई मदर एवरी संडे इटालियन फूड वॉज कुक्ड बाय माई मदर ये वॉज नहीं आ सकता ये पास टेंस है और ये एवरी संडे नहीं हो सकता फिर लास्ट संडे अगर यहां पर होता तो फिर यहां पर वॉज को आ जाता ठीक है एवरी संडे के लिए वॉज को नहीं आएगा लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये हमने अभी ऐसा किया था आई एम श्योर तुम लोग इसको सॉल्व जरूर कर लोगे tell me now neither he nor i r aayega kya yahan pe neither he singular nor i singular aur ye verb kise abhi karega last wale se so it should be am neither he nor i am wrong so this is the error neither nor ke main tumhe kuch uh, wo bata deti hu concepts ye either or neither or do ke liye hai neither nor neither nor so if it is this only two singulars all right then obviously the verb has to be singular so for example neither ram nor ravan to yahan par is theek hai neither ram Nor, um, maybe people. So, ये सिंगुलर है पर ये टूरल है तो फिर वो विल ऑलवेज अग्री विद द लास्ट सब्जेक्ट एंड देन इट विल बी आर बट इफ बोथ हर प्लूरल नीदर इंडियंस नॉर अमेरिकन तो ऑब्वियसली आर 
because both are plural. Here also, if both are singular, then the verb has to be singular and it has to agree with the last or the second subject. Okay. So, you concept yaad rakhna. Neither singular nor singular, then the verb has to be singular and it has to agree with the second subject. Neither singular nor plural, then the verb has to agree with the plural one, the last one. Can I write this way? Neither people nor Ram is whatever the sentence is. Can I write this way? Then the verb has to agree with Ram. So it has to be singular. No, this is absolutely wrong. It cannot happen like this. Neither, agar dono neither nor mein dono alag alag hai, so first has to be singular. With neither, it will always be singular. And with nor, it will be plural. So this construction is absolutely wrong. This is not possible. Okay. So that's all for today. I am sure you have revised a few, uh, you know, grammar rules, usage of English with me. These are actual PYQs which we have discussed. And hence, if you revise through these discussions, it will give you the actual phase of CMAT grammar questions. Okay. And I'm telling you with a lot of confidence that if you give, you know, a little time or maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes every day in solving these questions, all right, take a few questions every day on grammar. You can take solve it from Ren and Martin or any other book if you have in hand. And you just keep on solving those questions. Okay. You will be able to very quickly solve these questions of grammar in CMAT. It is going to save on your time first and give you very quick marks you know, in exams. You don't have to solve anything. You don't have to do anything. You just have to revise quickly every day. Take a few questions, solve them, look at the rules which are you know pertaining to those questions, and that's your task done. You'll be able to do very well in CMAT. Okay, so that's the tension in the practice. Karne ka. Hum log is class, your live class, or your CMAT key, it is for English, it is for maths, that is the quant section, it is for DILR, it is for uh, you know all the sections of CMAT. So, my request to you is that do attend these sessions regularly so that you are in the flow of revision. Okay, so see you then in the next session. Take good care of yourself. Namaste.